Okay, so here's our situation. We have a car skids to a stop on a street with a speed limit of 30 miles per hour. <coughs> they go out, the detectives, the officers go out and they measure the, the skid marks and they find that they measure 35 feet. All right, so what's our information that, that we need? We need the speed limit. We need the skid marks. They told us those measured 35 feet. And they gave us the coefficient of friction, so we need that. In this case, they're going to use that 0.7. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out, is the, was the car speeding? Okay, we're going to figure out what the car, if the car was speeding, okay? Can I change it? So here's what we're going to do. The speed limit was on the road was 30 miles an hour, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what the, if a car was going 30 miles per hour, what would that, what would be the length of that skid mark, okay? So we're going to figure out going that speed limit of 30, what the skid mark length would be. So we're going to take our formula and we're going to sub in, okay? So for our speed, the posted speed was 30, so we're going to put that in for our S. The coefficient of friction they told us was 0.7 and times our length of the skid mark. So now, what's 30 times 0.7? Three time, what's 3 times 7? 21. So 30 times 0.7 would be? No, 21. There should be 21, yeah. Okay. So let's kind of clean it up. So, we ha so underneath our radical, we have 21D. All right, we have a little bit of a problem. We want to solve for D, but he is inside or under that radical. We cannot get to him. But we can maneuver this. How can we fix this for? Her? They gave us the length of his. They gave us the length of the driver's skid marks. We're figuring out what the length of the skid marks should be if you're going the speed, the actual speed limit. Okay. We can approach this a couple of different ways. We'll look at both ways. So, how are we going to get to that? What did you say, Joseph? No, 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 because we, what we're doing is we are using the speed limit of 30, and we're trying to find the length of the skid mark by, by um, solving it this way. We're going to solve for D. How can we get to the D? Well, we square it. Square it, right? Because square roots and squares are inverses of each other, right? So we're going to come over here and square it because we have to get rid of the radical. The only way you're going to get, rat to get rid of that radical is to cancel it out by taking its inverse. So we do the same to the other side. No, 9,000? How about, how about 900? 30. 30 times 30. Oh, 900. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, I missed all That's okay. So 30 squared is 900. Thank you. Now this is nice. This is why we do it, right? The square, oh, I don't know what I did. The square cancels out the root. So now we just have 21D. Now, can we solve for the D? Yes. So figure that out. What is the length of that skid mark going to be? Eight five. Is she right? Yeah. Okay. Forty two point eight five. So we could we could approximate that. We could say approximately forty three. So we'll approximate that. Thank you. Okay. So if a person had been driving down this road going the posted speed limit of thirty miles per hour, they would have a skid mark that would have a total length of forty three feet. Our driver 
had a skid mark length of what? 35. So our driver had a length of 35 feet. So was he telling the truth? Was he not speeding? Or was he? No, he was not speeding, was he? He was not speeding. He's actually going under it, isn't he? Can you figure out how much he, how fast he was going for me? 27. How'd you do it, Peter? So you're finding the speed. Okay, so you put, as you subbed in the 30 times the 0.7, which we know is 21 times his skid marks, and they were 35. Okay. Yeah, and then we've got to, um, so you multiplied those together. Do you still have in your calculator what that was? 21 times 35? 735. So we had the square root of 735, and then when you square rooted that, 27, you said? Yes. And you got 27. So, yes, he was going under. He was actually going under the speed limit. He was going 27 instead of 30, so he was not speeding. Questions on that? Two ways to approach that, right? Yeah, there were two ways to approach that. So was he uh, speeding? Yes. yes, he was speeding. You could have approached this two ways. You had the, you had his skid marks, right? So you could have done one of two things. You could have found that speed by doing what? You could have found the speed by just subbing that in to the 30 times the 0 0.7 times his 120. You could have done it that way. What you? Those of you that did that, what would you get? You got that it was 50. He was going around 50, a little bit above. Stop. Okay, or you would have started off with finding out, finding out um, what the skid mark length should have been, right? And so you would have done it that way. So you've done 30 times the 0 0.7 times your D, and you got that D. And in this case, what would the skid mark those of you that did it this way, what was the length of the skid mark? 96. In this case, your, dot, your skid mark was 96. So in this case, if his skid mark, uh, if going 45 miles per hour, your skid mark was 96, his was actually 120. Yeah, was he speeding? Yes, yes. So two ways to approach that problem. Any questions on that?